This is Dean from Sentinel Candles and I'm back doing another soaking video today. Today we're going to be doing a rose fragrance soap. We're going to be using Crystal Clear Base from Natural Candle Supply. We're also going to be using uh, goat's milk. Um, the clear is 1,030 grams and the goat's milk is 70. I'm catering for 10 grams over. I've also got some micas here, pink, white and farouche and they're going to be thrown in with the goat's milk uh, and then I'm going to pour on top of that all the clear base and hopefully the micas and everything like that will really be picked up uh, and give it a nice swirl. This is another experimental soap so I don't know how it's going to go but I'm willing to give it a try. So um, let's get started. Okay so I've melted down some goat's milk. I'm going to pour that in here. Then I'm going to add my colors which is purple, white and pink. And then I'm going to quickly add all the clear soap which has been scented with rose fragrance. So it's going to be quick. I don't have to spray any of this but I'll probably just spray the goat's milk. So there's only uh, 70 grams of goat's milk that goes in here. Okay, so purple, white, that's not going to be seen on the goat's milk, but now I'm going to clean these out with using rubbing alcohol and just spraying into the container and then just pouring the rest of it out so you get all the mica out of the jars. those spray rubbing alcohol and in goes this clear base all right hope this works spray rubbing alcohol all right that looks like it's working to me However, so I don't know how this is going to go down too well, but we'll see what happens. I want to try and get right to the bottom and possibly even move it around a bit. There we go. And that's all mixed in and it looks quite nice. But we won't know until we cut it up tomorrow what it's actually going to look like inside. So it's the next morning and I'm going to unmold this rose. I'm hoping this turned out alright. It's looking to be just one big colour though. Oh wow. That looks amazing. However, it's just at the bottom. <laughs> the whole bottom is just that... I didn't actually go any further than that. You know what's happened? When I poured the goat's milk in, it set so quickly that it hasn't moved around the rest of the mold. That's what happened. Because look, you can see the line. It hasn't moved. The goat's milk went solid straight away because it was just a small portion. Looks beautiful though. Oh, that's a pity. All right, well, I guess we need to cut her up and see what's inside, it might be different.
This came out a little unexpected. I was hoping for some more color because there was purple and pink, but it looks like they've just merged. Um, you do get ones like this one here, if I can show you, that's got like a little white swirl and everything, and the bottom is white, so all the goat's milk sort of swirling up. Apart from that, I love the color. I'm really quite happy with the results. Just uh, wasn't expecting this much saturation of one color to be in the bar. I was hoping for lots of deviations of purple and pink and white and things like that, but it's all good. This is Rose Fragrance. Thanks for watching. Thank you.